Ahead of the 2024 governorship election in Edo State in South-South Nigeria, an epic battle seems to be brewing in the state between Governor Godwin Obaseki and his deputy, Philip Shaibu. While the cloud is gathering and with observers not sure what would follow next, Shaibu has even taken to the court to seek protection from possible impeachment and removal from office by his principal. Shaibu had approached the Federal High Court in Abuja to stop an alleged impeachment plan by his principal, which has been denied by Obaseki. Joining us now is Dr. Don Pedro Obaseki, an indigenous of Edo State and former presidential consultant on media to the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate <coughs> Atiku Abubaka in the 2023 elections. Good morning, Dr. Pedro Obasaki, and welcome to the morning show. Uh, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, 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 morning Doki. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> How did uh, a trailer pass, as they say, popular parlance between uh, Shaibu, deputy governor, and his uh, boss, uh, Governor Obaseki? And I want you to be fair. I, will be fair. I know Obaseki is your cousin. Yes. Yeah. So you are an interested party in the matter. Okay. But the two of them seem to have been having a good relationship, yeah. governor, deputy governor. Yes. And now all of a sudden, people are saying, oh, Shaibu wants to be governor. He wants to succeed his boss. And Obaseki does not want him to also become governor. And now Wala has started. But what exactly is the matter? Um, you see, particularly, both of them, I, I personally felt, you know, particularly just before the last elections, that maybe the governor had ceded quite a lot, magnanimously, to Philip. Because both of them were almost like CMS twins in terms of their political uh, uh, engagement and relationship. But I think what has come is this. You see, we cannot remove the politics from the location, from the local. In a do state, I think all of us, a lot of us, that includes me as a person, I, I am a little uncomfortable that Philip wants to run for governor. Because although, although we are seemingly homogeneous, Philip is from the same village with Oshomale. It's like Pedro now, I wanted to be governor once upon a time. Now my other brother is now governor and he leaves office and I want to be governor. I think that was where the whole thing might have started. But on ground, with all the things in Medo State in Benin right now, the real distancing started with the constitution of the present House of Assembly, just uh, after the, the, that was June, June, 2020, June 2023. And at that, everybody in the state who knows what is going down, knew that the deputy governor wanted to install a speaker who happened to have been not the one that the others, including the governor and the party structure wanted. And if you trace the history of the relationship of Godwin and Philip as against the backdrop of the problems the PDP has been having, many people felt that Philip might have been maybe the finger on the trigger that caused the entire problem Edo State is having with the PDP. That is just, that is what that, I'm just saying that on, 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 I am not speaking on behalf of Godwin. He has not spoken to me for, I'm sorry to say, quite a while. But that is the, the issue sure? on ground. Mm. Which one are you sure? There is no art here to tell the mind's design, to tell the mind's construction on the face. Yeah. You have to take my word for it. That is just as it is. All right. Okay. So, with regards to the current relationship, how has the PDP waded into? Because we haven't heard much from the, the party in terms of this crisis between the governor and the deputy governor. What is the role of the PDP ahead of the elections coming up in a few? You see, the election is too months. far away for even all these things to. It's be not happening. very far away. It's uh, in 2024. Twenty. The swearing in is November 12, 2024. We are still in August 2023. In political terms, <laughs> it's like tomorrow. It's like, yes, ahead. I agree with you. You see, the PDP, I am a chieftain of the PDP, both within the state and at the federal level. And we've been trying in the last few months, particularly as a fallout of, the, of our loss to the obedient movement within the state, we have to be frank with ourselves, to try and put all parties together again. And this one has thrown a wheel in that reconciliation, a uh, uh, spanner in that reconciliation wheel. I just hope that both of them, particularly the deputy governor, because we have to be frank, 
The deputy governor was the one who went to the public with a blazing gun. You know, we going to court, asking for an interim injunction. Now they want to ask for an interlocutory injunction to stop his purported impeachment, which is something unknown to law. So I feel that the two of them, they have had many uh, uh, bats in the shower together once upon a time. They can find a way so as not to continue to make a do state a laughing stock or a continuous unending melodrama in the Nigerian political space. So I, the party itself now, as we so speak, as in the structure of the party within the state, seem to be almost 100% with the governor. And then those who were angry or angered by the dispensation that was presupposing the, 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 the uh, preceded the, uh, the 2023 election, also seem to be pointing accusing finger at Philip. So Philip is almost more like a four guy. You don't sound unbiased this morning. No, I'm being frank with you as it is. Do you, you want me to tell you what is not, does not no, exist? I'm just saying. I'm just telling you what they are saying. I'm not saying me. I play football with Philip every Saturday. Okay. So I'm, I'm closer to Philip in terms of one-on-one -on -one interactions and, than to my other brother. Yeah, I mean, the, even the, the age gap, Chef, me, I know be friend. He's seen me where we're with more than 10 years. You get my point? But Philip is, 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 my, is my mate. I mean, I think I'm a couple of years older than he is. So I understand what is going down in the state. But the only thing that I know that will be a problem going forward is if they don't sheath the sword now. Some persons, which Philip might be, will be the collateral uh, victims of this. Because the governor is not going to run again. But Philip is, wants to run. And the forces within the state are against his running. That is a statement of fact. And those state is, has three senatorial districts. The immediate past governor, Aliu Adam Soshomole, is from Iyamo in Esako West local government area of Edo State. Philip Shaibu is from Iyamo in the Esako West local, gov uh, 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 local government in Edo North Senatorial District. Officially, Adam Soshomole is the son of Philip's father. That is officially, he adopted, Philip's father adopted Adam's. I'm not saying this, everybody in Medo State knows, as a 15 year old in Kaduna and trained him. So Philip and Adams are brothers on paper, Official, officially, when he was adopted by ECWA, whatever church of West Africa, where Philip's father was, 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 a, was a pastor. So, and when he died, we, in Edo State, in 2015, we did a state burial for the burial of the, of the governor's father, of Oshomole's father. So I think that should be taken into prime cognizance. Now, in Edo State today, the governor is from Edo South, which constitutes close to 60% of the population of the state, and more than 70% of its landmass. Edo South, Edo Central, however, mm. have never been governor you know, you know, they've been governor for a year and six months under Osari Emeo Sumbo, but they've and never been, they, they, and Ambruzali. Yeah. You get my point? And in, historically, Edo people and Delta people, we always use the ASAN, where they are from, which is a, I, I think they say it's a language. No, it's really more or less a dialect because the linguistic differences between Edo South and ASAN is less than the difference between mainstream Yoruba and Ijebu. Seriously, ah, they are very different. No, I say it's so. I say it's <laughs> it's, it's much more reduced. <laughs> okay. The former governor of Edo State, Osumbo, Osumbo is who, who is who is from uh, Esa. His name is Osariyeme Osumbo. Yeah. The present uh, immediate past vice chancellor of Ambuzali University, who is, who is Bini, is Osariyeme Osadolo. So there is no difference. One we say Osamu Diame. So, so, yeah. yeah. so we are we are one. Ties yeah. to be made. Yes. So okay. if there is the need for us, if there is going to be equity and fairness, yeah. um, I don't think Philip okay. should be running. Okay. But but is it, but ambition is a personal thing. Yeah. You know. Okay. Anyway, if you want to stretch the argument, yes, a lot of people will say the argument falls flat because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have had a country that hitherto used to have a Muslim Christian balancing, but now has a Muslim Muslim ticket. Yes. And it's all true. 
So some people will say... Oh, is it true? Barring the court encumbrances, <laughs> oh, okay. they want they, they, they are barring the court encumbrances as we speak today. Who yeah. the president of Nigeria is, is not a Muslim? You. I agree with you. The vice president is not a Muslim. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh -huh. So it's some people will say is how strong mm -hmm. the ambition is mm -hmm. of the individual and how how well it will be received yes. by those who are going to cast their ballot. Uh, to, so, uh, yes. Yes. So that's the balancing act. But I want to ask you an honest question. Yes. When Philip decided to fight his own brother, elder brother of Shomale, mm -hmm. for your own brother, mm -hmm. what did your brother promise him in return? Was it just to be a deputy governor for two terms and afterwards walk away and go face his political life? Okay, I want to also answer you by answering you with the question you Don't asked Don't be a Nigerian. Me. No, I won't be a Nigerian. <laughs> I will be very <laughs> empirical. It's a Nigerian that answers the no, question. No, no, no. Question. Let me say this clearly. This is very clear. I started by saying there is no art yet to tell the mind's construction on mm. the face. I don't know what had transpired Just behind uh, Macbeth. Macbeth. Thank you, mm. sir. I, what transpired behind the sanctuary of, the, of their locked doors. Mm. But I can tell you this. I was the principal negotiator to move Godwin and Philip from the APC. I am not a hearer. I am the principal. I, I will put it this way on public TV. I was the conduit. From the very first meeting with, I will call their names on air, with Ugadome, the late Raymond Dokbesi, the three senators, including Oyofo is alive, including Isa Brahimo is alive, uh, that young man, Jude Magwe, they were seated. And the very first thing that was requested, it was at 2 a.m. in the night in Dokbesi's basement, was that they will give Godino Baseki the ticket. But he must, as is, that was done with Autumn, as was done with Tambua, he must allow the PDP to bring the deputy governor. And I can tell you what Godino Baseki told us then. Go with your ticket. If Philip is not with me, I am not going with you. Are you getting my point? I was now beginning to wonder the level of commitment they both have to one another, or particularly the governor had to him. So the governor did not sacrifice him at the, at, on, the on the political altar so as to foster the governors, because on a very serious note, in terms of, of, of a electoral value, Philip, from the arithmetic, uh, may not be he's a paperweight. I'm very sorry. Uh, that is arithmetically. The paperweight. Yes. You said in his, yes, that is the dep paperweight deputy governor. Let me explain yeah. why. Yes. You know, because in the election that took place and all the elections prior or after that, Oshomole comes from the same ward with Philip. So in our election in 2020, in the ward, the, gov the deputy governor won his ward, his, his unit by six votes, lost his ward, lost his local government, and lost the entire senatorial district. So if you look at it, but the governor insisted. Now let's fast forward to 2021. Philip had the microphone in the present. We had called a, 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 a meeting to split the party uh, offices and the, and the commissionerships and stuff. And Philip had the microphone in front of IU on public television. It was carried live on, on, on Arise and said that he never wanted to go to the PDP if not for Godwin. And as a result of that, he came, that was what spiked Wiki's anger, and said, who the hell is this deputy governor? And Governor Godwin Obaseki went, I felt he, he crossed the line at that point, to defend his deputy governor, took out pages in the newspaper to support his deputy governor. So I didn't even see this kind of um, wahala coming. So if anybody accuses Philip of being so, so loyal, what was, what was I'm saying, saying for my, the loyalty? What was supposed to be the reward for Mr. Philip Schwaibu for his loyalty to Governor Abbasaki that was so strong that made him fight his own brother Adam so strongly? No, so what was the I'm reward? Saying, you see, I'm saying that it is God doing that carried Philip along, not the other way around. You have to get this clear. Oh, but it okay. takes two to tango. Yeah, yeah I agree okay, with you. Then finally, let me just drop. Okay, sir. Just two minutes to go. Okay, sir. Just two quick clarifications. Yes. You just told everybody on television yes. that the Edo State government sponsored the burial of uh, Adam Sushemala's father. Yes, it was a state burial. Right. right. State burial. Yes. For a man who had no connection no, with, with the state. Was no. that right? No. That's no, one. no, no, no. No, quickly. No, no. There's no. a second question. Yes. 
So, number two question. Mm -hmm. Is it in uh, Governor Baseke's right mm -hmm. to dictate to the Edo people who should be governor? Let the, should he not allow the Edo people to choose who they want to vote for? Irrespective of uh, political calculations, he cannot dictate that. Mm -hmm. okay. he, that would be presumptuous. Yes, I, it's okay. not in his place to do that. Okay, number one, I will answer the first one. I said, uh, Philip Schwaibu's father is the official father of Adam Soshoma. Why would somebody's father get the barrier? Uh, we, 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 we were all involved. It was the, the, the governor of a part died. So the state paid for it. I don't know whether the state paid for it. I'm not in no, the state. No, you people have to refund that money. Uh, go and tell them to go and tell Adam Sosho. I wasn't, I'm not in government. I've still not been in government. Number two, the governor did not strike this. You have to understand. This issue of whether Pili should ride or not is a, is a direct result. It's concomitant on Philip going to court saying he wants to be impeached. I'm sure nothing was in the public domain prior to that because he wants to run for governor. And I did not give you the governor's view. I gave you my personal, as an indigen of the state, and based on the political arithmetics of my state, why I feel Philip should run. The person who has been presumptive, speculative, and maybe premature was the deputy governor going to court for an interim injunction asking that the court should stop a process that has not started. That is unknown to law. Okay. Thank okay, you so thank much. You much very much, uh, thank you very much, Don Pedro Obaseki, uh, yes. for throwing, shedding light on the political situation in Edo State. <laughs>